everybody, it's Emma Stimson from Women's Health and Hormones here. First off, I just want to say thanks for your interest in today's workshop. In our session today, I want to walk you through the hormone breakthrough method. This is the treatment method I've developed working with thousands of women in their 40s over the last 20 years. I'll show you how it works and I'll also show you how you too can use the same steps and principles to take control of your hormones and your health. Uh, the method will help you fix your PMS and period problems, get your energy back and feel like yourself again. Following the method will also help to prepare your body to ease the transition through perimenopause to menopause. But first, I want to let you know that I'll be sharing the personal stories of some of my patients with you. I want to make it really clear that the results that these women obtained were following personal consultation with me, uh, in which I was able to modify their treatment according to the, their unique requirements. Today's workshop is definitely not a replacement for treatment from a qualified healthcare professional, but it is definitely designed to help you experience transformation in your well-being. In order to see improvements, though, you really need to take action on the steps provided. Without taking action, don't expect you'll experience any change in your health. Your results will vary and can depend on many factors, including your medical history and um, desire to make changes in your lifestyle and habits. If you're not willing to accept this, please stop watching the workshop now. Um, but with that said, let me just jump in and show you how the hormone breakthrough method can help you. Who this workshop is for? Uh, it's for women in their 40s who are struggling with hormonal mood swings, fatigue, PMS or period problems. Uh, also for women who feel like their hormones are out of control and it's starting to affect relationships and parenting. And it's for women who want to get off the roller coaster of hormonal imbalance to find happiness, energy, a clear head and calm emotional state. Yes, this workshop really is about removing the burden of hormonal imbalance so that you can feel in control of your mind and your body every day of the month. But it's also about something even more important, living a life that you love, releasing feelings of guilt uh, about not being supportive or patient with your family because you feel so out of balance. Stopping the rage and feeling in control of your emotions again. And also rediscovering your energy, motivation, concentration and creativity so you can truly realise your full potential and live a life that you love. So I've got three different uh, pillars of information or action steps that I want to cover with you today. But first I just want to check in with you. Does this sound like you? Are you exhausted, burnt out or stressed by the demands of family or work? If you have low libido, sometimes would you prefer to mop the floor than have sex with your partner? Have you noticed that you've got a short fuse? Rage, you might experience feelings of rage followed by gnawing feelings of guilt and shame. Maybe you're oversensitive, feeling teary. You might be finding it hard to focus or make decisions. You might have physical symptoms as well, like food cravings, bloating, fluid retention or weight gain. Have you noticed that your symptoms are worse before your period? Are the periods themselves heavier or more painful than previously? Do you feel like life is starting to spin out of control? Maybe you're scared, feeling terrified that if you don't do something about your health now, menopause will be a living hell. I just want you to take a moment to imagine a different future or different feelings. Imagine if you were off the monthly roller coaster of hormonal imbalance. Imagine if you felt confident and secure in the knowledge that your body is working for you, not against you. Imagine if you had full energy all month to share with your partner and your children. Imagine if you had mental clarity and emotional well-being, if you really felt like yourself again. Imagine enjoying pleasure, doing the things you love, having fun. 
believe it or not, all of this is actually possible. And the wonderful news is all of these feelings uh, and visions that I've asked you to experience here can uh, occur simply by taking a natural approach to healing your body and balancing your hormones. There's really three things you need to actually have for this workshop to change your life. You must have a burning desire for well-being. You must uh, be committed, determined and ready to change your life. Now you have to come to me with this. You also need to believe in your ability to do this and uh, luckily this is one that I can help you with. If you've lost your ability to believe in yourself or you might have been knocked around by the med medical system or haven't had great results in the past with what you've tried, I can still help you with this. We're going to work on building up your self-belief today, so stay tuned. We're going to get there. You also need a clear plan. A lot of women don't have this and it creates a lack of clarity and be, can be a, a major reason for not getting results. But again, don't worry, today we're going to cover a clear step-by-step -step plan to get you from where you are now to where you want to be with your hormones and your health. And those pictures and visions I asked you to try and imagine earlier, um, you know, getting you from where you are to that point, uh, you need that step-by-step -step plan. So, um, and this is something that we're going to look really closely at in today's workshop. But first, in case I'm new to you, um, I just want to share a little bit about who I am and why I'm qualified this information with you. Hi, my name is Emma Stimson. It's really lovely to meet you. I'm the founder of Women's Health and Hormones. I'm also the author of The Hormone Breakthrough and Freedom from PMS and PMDD, and I'm the co-author of another book called Wellness Without Limits. Um, I've got over 17 years' experience. It's actually 20 years now experience helping thousands of women balance their hormones naturally for optimal health and radiant well-being. And I've really seen through the, all these years of working with so many women, I've really seen firsthand what women are up against when they go through difficult hormonal imbalances. And I've also seen what's possible on the other side when women have the right approach uh, to balancing their hormones and getting their body and their life back in, in check again, how amazing life can really be. Um, you might not surprise you all to know that I'm also in my 40s. Um, so I'm actually living and going through this phase of my life myself at the moment and I think it gives me an even closer um, understanding of the types of challenges that, challenges that you might be experiencing. So let's get started on the three action steps you need to take to get the results you're looking for. These three steps are critical for your success. They're the steps I help my patients with every day through my treatment approach, the Hormone Breakthrough Method. Um, and I want to go through them, with, through them with you in depth. The first step is make sure you get your hormones tested. Uh, getting your hormones tested means that we will have the opportunity to discover what your, new, your unique hormonal blueprint is. Now, this is just so important. Uh, you want to remove trial and error and you want to also remove generic treatments. Uh, the more that your treatment or the, the approach that you take can be individualized, individualized sorry, to your unique hormonal blueprint, uh, the more likely it is that you'll succeed or that you'll achieve success with what you're trying to get to with your health goals. Um, if you don't get your hormones tested and you don't find out what your unique hormonal blueprint is, you'll really be following a process of trial and error. It's impossible to be specific enough in the prescription or the taking of the correct herbs and nutrients to balance your body out, that's you as a unique individual, without having a really good idea of what your unique hormonal blueprint is. So testing is really important. Step two, we need to get the balance back. It's really important uh, that we follow a process that will allow you to correct the underlying root cause of your hormonal imbalance. Uh, this will help your body produce and process hormones more efficiently so that you see long-term improvements in your symptoms. And of course, for women um, in our 40s, what we're really interested in is feeling good now, but also what are the proactive steps that we can take uh, to support our body to ease the transition through perimenopause. 
Uh, now, I can tell you without a doubt that having a plan is the best way that you can do that. If you get your hormones tested now in your 40s and you find out what your unique hormonal blueprint is and you do everything that you can to balance that out naturally, and then if you take the necessary steps to correct the underlying root cause uh, of causes that have contributed to your hormones going out of work in the first place, by helping your body produce and process the hormones more efficiently, you will put your body in a much better position to ease that natural transition through perimenopause. Because remember, perimenopause, it's not a disease state. There's nothing wrong with perimenopause. This is a total, uh, totally natural transition that your body's going to go through. It's completely normal and it's positive. It's great. You know, it's a, it's a really positive experience. But the problem for many women is if in your 40s, your body's already out of whack and your hormones are right out of whack, as you start to transition through that natural phase, you're going to develop a lot of um, what we consider negative symptoms that are associated with peri perimenopause. So things like insomnia, hot flushes, vaginal dryness, um, widely. Um, sporadic or um, divergent mood states, you know, massive hormonal mood swings, um, symptoms associated with pain like migraines, um, musculoskeletal skeletal, skeletal aches and pains. You know, there's many um, low libidos really common to develop during perimenopause as well. So there's a load of symptoms that are that we consider negative because they have a negative impact on our quality of life. Uh, the earlier you start preparing your body for this natural transition the more likely it is you're going to be able to offset some of those negative symptoms or prevent them from occurring so that you keep your freedom, well-being and quality of life. But of course, if you're being really proactive and you still develop some of those symptoms, those negative symptoms, you're going to have a much better chance to get them under control as quickly as possible if you're really being proactive about it. So don't wait and see what's going to happen. Don't wait and see how bad these symptoms get. Don't just put it off and think, you know, um, I'm not feeling great now, but I'm sure this is just a temporary phase I'm going through. I'm sure I'll, be, I feel, better, I'll feel better soon um, because it's highly unlikely to be the case. Uh, I see most often for women that uh, if you're getting symptoms in your 40s uh, of hormonal imbalance, that's just going to get worse and worse as you continue to progress through perimenopause and menopause unless you do something about it. So be proactive. You're worth it. Your health and well-being is worth it. Your quality of life is worth it. If you're a woman who's busy giving to everybody else, just remember, you can't give to anyone. You can't look after anybody else in your life if you're completely burnt out and your body's out of balance. Nothing is more important than that you feel well. You must plan and prepare to support your body through this natural transition um, so that you can really enjoy your life. And there's no reason why year after year that passes, you can't just feel better and better and enjoy greater states of well-being. There's absolutely absolutely no reason why as you get older, as we age, our health necessarily has to deteriorate and our quality of life has to suffer. If you put the work in now, uh, put the foundations in place to support your health long term, uh, there's no reason why you can't really enjoy life and live a life that you love. I'm passionate about this. Take it seriously. You're worth it. So how do we put these steps into place? This graphic, the iceberg graphic, is a really useful demonstration or picture that will help you understand what I'm talking about in a bit more depth. What I want you to do at the moment is think about what your symptoms are. Now, you can see the symptoms up there in the iceberg, that, that area that's sitting above the surface of the water. So grab yourself a pen and pencil or at least list them in your mind. I want you to write down or, or clarify exactly the symptoms that are bothering you at the moment. That could be premenstrual symptoms. It could be hot flushes. It could be period, period problems like irregular periods, spotting between periods, heavy periods, painful periods, flooding. Um, th these menstrual symptoms commonly onset uh, in, for women in their 40s and during perimenopause. Maybe you're having hormonal mood swings, feelings of depression, teariness, maybe it's anxiety. And that irritability and rage that we were talking about before can come up for some women as well. Uh, maybe you're noticing changes in your hair, your skin, your nails. That's not uncommon during the 40s and perimenopause. Maybe you've noticed changes in your weight. Maybe you're tired. Fatigue is also really common at this stage of life. What I want you to do, list those symptoms out and get a really good picture of where you as an individual are at at the moment. 
Now, what I can tell you, once you've listed all of that out, if you just focus on this top area here, that surface above the, that area above the surface of the water, and you focus on just using some herbs or doing this or doing that to try and get an improvement in your symptoms, what you're really doing is just using a Band-Aid. Um, when we're working in this area up here, we call it symptomatic care. Now, don't get me wrong, it's really important that you get relief from your symptoms and we want to see you getting improvements as quickly as possible. So I'm not against symptomatic care. I'm not against you um, taking steps to just get some quick improvements in these symptoms that are bothering you. What troubles me is if you stop there, you just stop above the surface of the water and you don't take a deeper dive or a deeper look down here at the potential underlying contributing causes that are driving the symptoms of hormonal imbalance that you're experiencing at the moment. In order to see long-term improvements in your symptoms and really ease that natural transition through perimenopause and menopause that's going to come, you can't avoid it, it's going to come. You don't want to avoid it. It's a normal, natural process. But in order to ease that, it's really important that you take a deeper dive and look at what's going on down here underneath the surface of the water. Because if you're able to identify and address the underlying root causes that are causing the symptoms in the first place, you're going to get long-term improvements. And that's when you're going to get that state to that, reach that point in your life where I was describing before that every year that passes, you just feel better and better and better. And that's really what we're aiming towards. So if we go and have a look underneath the surface of the water, um, there are some uh, very common common driving forces that cause symptoms of hormonal imbalance for women in their 40s. Um, and if we can work down here, you're going to get good improvements. We talked already about doing some testing to identify what your unique hormonal profile. The reason this is so beneficial in correcting the underlying balance of your hormones or correcting the underlying cause of what's going on is because we can identify your unique hormonal profile and then be very specific in the prescription of the right herbs and nutrients for you as an individual to get your body back in a balance again, which is very different to, that, to taking a generic supplement that's designed for any woman. Okay, we want to treat you as a unique individual. This is really important. And I'm going to talk a little bit more deeply about uh, hormone testing as we go along. Uh, having a closer look at what's happening with your gut floor and the detoxification pathways in your body are important too. You see, the healthy bugs that live in your gut are so crucial for your health and well-being. The healthy bugs that live in your gut help your body to digest foods, absorb nutrients, eliminate waste products, and eliminate excessive hormones from the system. So if you don't have enough healthy bugs living in your gut to do these jobs properly, hormones and waste products will be reabsorbed from the bowel back into the bloodstream, and it just perpetuates this cycle of imbalance in the body. So we really want to make sure we work on optimising your gut microbiome. Uh, supporting the pathways of detoxification through the liver is also really important. Now, the liver is always detoxifying. Um, it's a myth to think that you can really change that. Uh, your liver is always doing that job, all right? But um, there's important pathways through the liver, especially the P2 detox pathway, that's responsible for helping your body detoxify hormones. However, if you're exposed to other substances like chemicals, alcohol, pharmaceutical drugs uh, that also require this P2 detoxification pathway uh, to clear them from your system safely, your body will always down-regulate the detoxification of hormones and up-regulate the detoxification of these other substances. So we want to do everything that we can to support this uh, pathway of detoxification through, through the liver so your body becomes more efficient at detox, detoxifying all of these substances. And then at the same time, if you can give your body a rest from other substances like alcohol, chemicals, um, pharmaceutical medications that you don't need to take, recreational drugs, if you can give your body a rest from all these types of substances, what you'll find is that naturally it will upregulate the detoxification of hormones. Okay, so we want to rest your body from other substances that require detoxification and we want to support that, that process of detoxification that's always happening anyway. It's also important to have a look at what's going on with stress in your life. And sometimes stress is the chicken, sometimes it's the egg. When your hormones are out of whack, it definitely makes you feel more stressed. And then if you've also got external stress in your life at the same time, it, 
it can cause a hormonal imbalance in the first place. It can put the rest of the hormones out of whack. Um, so we want to work on optimising um, the stress hormone production in your body, supporting and soothing your nervous system and nervous system, sorry, and helping your body cope with the demands and effects of stress in your life. Uh, identifying and addressing any nutritional deficiencies is also really important. Nutritional deficiencies can be a strong uh, driver of hormonal imbalances because your body requires certain key nutrients in order to produce uh, hormones and also process hormones. And remember that processing of the hormones happens through that the gut flora and the detoxification through the liver. Um, but that, that pathway itself requires certain nutrients. Um, but the production of hormones also requires nutrients. So important nutrients to look at here are definitely zinc. And iron, particularly if you're a woman who has heavy periods, you need to really get your iron studies checked or iron status studied, um, which is a very simple blood test. Zinc and iron are really important nutrients. Magnesium is really important. Uh, the B nutrients, all of the B vitamins are essential for the production of hormones. Uh, healthy fats, you want to make sure you're having enough healthy fats in your diet. That's also really important for hormonal production. Uh, and also other antioxidants and phytonutrients, which support that pathway of detoxification through the liver. And pre and probiotics can be uh, relevant here too, because we know that they support the gut microbiome. Um, insulin resistance can also, number five down here, can also be a driver of hormonal imbalance. Uh, this is important for women who have symptoms that can be linked to elevated testosterone. You see, um, if you're becoming a little bit less sensitive to the effects of insulin and your body's needing to release more insulin to keep your health uh, blood glucose levels within a healthy range, it can drive up testosterone. Now, of course, as the testosterone increases, that disturbs the balance between the other hormones. Uh, and can lead to two problems associated with uh, ovulation, acne, uh, and hair growth in areas where you don't want it, and hair loss in areas where you do want it. Um, these are the type of symptoms that are common. It's also really common for women who have a hormonal imbalance to experience sugar cravings, particularly in the premenstrual phase. And um, uh, this can, of course, be also linked to weight gain if you've got these uncontrollable sugar cravings or urges to eat sugar or um, significantly increased appetite. Um, so we definitely want to optimise healthy blood glucose regulation and improve insulin sensitivity. You need to be aware of environmental triggers as well. Um, hormonal imbalances are much more common now than they've ever been. And we think the reason for this is because of uh, the exposure women have experienced over the years to endocrine disrupting chemicals, um, which our grandmothers weren't faced with. Uh, endocrine, endocrine disrupting chemicals are man-made chemicals um, that disturb the body's own natural production of hormones or the natural, the natural function of the endocrine system. Um, they're found in substances like herbicides and pesticides, plastics, um, uh, car fumes, you know, exhaust fumes, actually everywhere, um, cleaning products, personal care products. There are so many potential sources of these endocrine disrupting chemicals um, and, and they have a significant impact so over the longer duration of time, you want to do everything that you can to minimise your exposure to these chemicals. And um, some simple steps that you might want to consider right away uh, would be um, starting to choose organic foods where you can, especially uh, foods that come from animals. So any meats that you're eating and dairy, or dairy products that you're consuming, try and make sure that at least that part of your diet is certified organic. Because you see, you can wash fruits and vegetables, you can peel them, there's things that you can do to reduce the herbicide and pesticide residue. But when animals consume, consume these substances, um, those herbicides and pesticides or endocrine disrupting chemicals get trapped in the animal's saturated fat. And there's nothing that you can do about that. You, you'll end up consuming them when you consume those foods. It would be ideal to make your whole diet and lifestyle certified organic, but many of my patients or the women with, that I work with tell me that's just not realistic. At least try and make sure that um, uh, at least try and make sure that the animal foods are certified organic if you can. Life transitions are a major driver of hormonal imbalance as well. And um, for women, the most common time in a woman's life where you're likely to develop a hormonal imbalance are uh, during uh, adolescence, also the perinatal phase and perimenopause. Now, the interesting thing for a lot of women 
these days is that as women are having babies later and later, uh, that, per that perinatal phase or postnatal phase and the perimenopausal phases are coming much closer together. And this is causing a significant increase in hormonal imbalance for women in their 40s. Um, again, this is a normal natural process, these life transitions, but just be aware that um, that link between uh, the postnatal perinatal phase and perimenopause um, is, I think, having much more of an impact uh, for many women in their 40s than probably was in the past. And we also can't forget about your genetic makeup. Um, we know that the age that it's likely that the age your mum went through menopause um, is the age that you may go through menopause, um, with, with some variation depending on the degree of environmental chemicals that you've been exposed to and a variety of other factors. But there does seem to be a genetic link there. There's also a strong genetic link with a lot of other um, reproductive conditions that affect women um, that come out in their forties or you know that manifest in their forties symptoms or conditions like um, fibrocystic breasts and uh, uterine fibroids. It's a couple of common ones that uh, present more commonly and also thyroid disorders that can present more commonly for women during their 40s and perimenopause that are genetic. So I would also just to know that there's this wonderful new field of research called epigenetics that looks at the influence of dietary and lifestyle factors on your genetic makeup. Now, just because you're born with a certain set of genes does not necessarily mean it's your destiny to walk down that pathway. There's so much that can be done to switch the genes on and switch the genes off. And um, a lot of that relies on uh, addressing the other factors that we've got listed underneath the iceberg here, you know, these other environmental, dietary and lifestyle related triggers. So have a really good think about it. If you stay up here and work in the area of your symptoms and use symptomatic care, that's really like filling in the potholes. Okay, if you come down here and work in this deeper level, identifying and addressing the underlying root causes of your symptoms, it's like resurfacing the road. What would you prefer? Would you prefer just to fill in some potholes or would you like to resurface the road? Something important to consider. So let's have a little bit of a closer look at hormone testing. Um, there's three types of hormone, ways that you can get your hormones tested. Now, when we look at blood testing, uh, blood testing can be beneficial and useful in certain scenarios. Um, uh, if you have symptoms that might also be consistent with an issue with thyroid function, uh, it's really important that you get your thyroid hormones tested through a blood test. Um, and you can get a full thyroid function test measuring TSH, T3, T4, reverse T3 and the thyroid autoantibodies and that's what I'd recommend if um, it does appear that your symptoms might be similar to an issue with thyroid function or thyroid hormone production. If you're also wondering whether your symptoms are being caused by perimenopause or whether they're being caused by something else, you can also have follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone checked uh, through a blood test and this will give you a closer indicator of how far along that perimenopausal transition in your body actually is. But uh, neither of these tests will identify your unique hormonal blueprint that I was talking about before. Uh, you really want to have a saliva hormone test done to identify your unique hormonal blueprint. Saliva hormone testing is wonderful. It's very sensitive. It picks up small imbalances in the hormones that don't show up through blood work. And we're also able to test a much broader range of hormones through the saliva hormone testing. Because remember, it's not only how much of each of these hormones your body's producing that it's important, it's also what the ratio or balance is between them. And we can identify this through saliva hormone testing. You can also use a urine test um, to have your hormones tested. There's a test which is called the Dutch test, which is a fantastic test. It's a lot more expensive, though, than saliva hormone testing or blood testing. So we all know, also always need to um, weigh out the cost of versus the benefits of the testing. But you can use the uh, urine test or the Dutch test, Dutch test is the other name for it, um, to identify your unique hormonal, blo uh, hormonal blueprint. And uh, that test will also give you a closer idea of how your body's actually detoxifying hormones. And um, so it is a really useful test test um, the cost can be prohibitive for a lot of people though um, for that reason I find the saliva hormone test is a really good middle ground but both of these tests can identify that unique hormonal bl blueprint and remember the blood test is really important if there's a concern that you might have an issue with your thyroid function that brings us to step two balance addressing the underlying root cause like I was describing before, stress and mindset is so important, okay? Is it the chicken? Is it the egg? 
Um, what, either way, you want to do everything that you can during your 40s and perimenopause uh, to improve the way you're managing stress in your life. Have a close think about that. You can't ever avoid stress completely. What we want to do is encourage your body to go into the relaxation response when stressful events pass. Okay? I don't want you to adapt at living to living with stress and, and to start feeling as though living at that heightened state of stress is normal. It's not normal. Uh, stress is normal. Stress happens from time to time. But what's not normal is to be living in a heightened state of stress or chronic stress all of the time. So I want you to have a close think about what you're doing in your life to help you manage stress. We spoke about gut flora and detoxification before. I think we've got pretty much covered that. Uh, we spoke about nutritional deficiencies. We also spoke about insulin resistance and environmental triggers. Okay, We want to do everything that we can to correct these underlying root causes that could be contributing to your hormonal profile being out of whack in the first place. And then plan. So remember, step three is planning. We want to put all the steps into place now that we can to balance your hormones naturally in your 40s because that will help to ease the natural transition, that normal life transition of perimenopause, and offset the effects of your genetic makeup. Okay? So our three steps. Step one, get some testing done. Step two, Focus, out, focus on how you can balance out your unique hormonal profile by correcting the underlying root causes that are causing the imbalance in the first place, helping your body, thereby helping your body produce and process hormones more efficiently. And step three, plan to ease the natural transition of perimenopause. Don't just wait for it to happen. Get your body in balance now. I'd like to share a story with you um, of one of my patients, Sarah, because I think it gives a really good illustration of what's possible with this natural approach following the hormone breakthrough method, um, of restoring balance to your body and helping to ease your symptoms now and, ease and plan to ease that natural transition through perimenopause. This is a photo of beautiful Sarah. Um, when Sarah came to see me, she was she told me she was feeling far from her normal self. She was demotivated and unhappy. She'd wake up in the morning feeling anxious, and the slightest problem could really set her off into a spit of emotion. And she told me that if it involved her husband, it was generally anger. And she felt like her tolerance for her son was waning and um, her ability to relax was damn near impossible. She was feeling really lethargic as well, no matter how much she slept. Um, and she really felt like no matter what she did, she still was needing to have a bit of a lie down in the middle of the day. After starting the supplements I prescribed for Sarah, she immediately started to improve her mood within about three days and her energy level improved within about a week. Um, when she finally got the results from her hormone tests, she was overwhelmed with relief. Her feelings of going crazy with stress and anxiety, along with wanting to kill her, her husband, um, were down really to incredibly imbalanced hormone levels. So the results gave her hope. The future suddenly seemed a lot brighter. Um, Sarah still feels like she has a way to go, but she also feels like her health is constantly improving. She now has the knowledge she needs, and she told me she feels empowered to take care of her own health. Um, her friends are commenting on how much more relaxed she is, and she's able to diffuse any arguments with her husband. And she also feels like she's having a lot more fun with her little boy. Um, she also believes that her memory's improved, and her ability to focus on the task at hand, as well as the person in front of her, is also so much better. She told me she feels like um, the tre treatment she experienced through the hormone breakthrough method not only saved her life but also saved her marriage. She really believes now that body chemistry can be so easily overlooked. She told me she felt like she could have talked about her feelings until the cows came home and rationalised her thoughts and actions. But what she found was by getting her physical body back into balance again, life became so much easier. Um she really feels confident now that menopause will be a much less rocky road, um, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so there is hope. There are things that you can do uh, that will help to restore balance to your body and balance to your life. I think it's great to hear other people's stories because it, it helps you realise you're not alone. You know, it helps with any feelings of isolation that you might might have.
So the next thing I want to talk to you about is motivation versus self-sabotage. How do you stay motivated and avoid self-sabotage when you're trying to follow these action steps and improve your health? You need to figure out why this is important to you. Okay, what I'd like you to do now is go back to your pen and piece of paper where you're writing things down or just think about this in your mind, but even better if you can write it down. Please now identify what's the most important goal that you have regarding your health and your hormones. What's the number one change that you'd like to see? So write that down for me. Now that you've identified your number one primary goal, I want you to ask yourself, why is this important to me? And I want you to write that down. Write down the very first things that comes into your mind. Why is this important to me? Now that you've got that written down, I want you to ask yourself the question again, why is this important to me? And write that down. Now I want you to do this about another five or six times. Okay, so every answer that you come up with, I want you to ask yourself again, why is that answer important to me? And the answer that you come up with, why is that answer important to me? And when you come with, now after doing that about five, six, maybe seven times, you will truly get to the core of why it's so important to you to take action now and why, um, why this is so valuable to you, you know. If you can get to the true essence of why this is valuable to you and why this is so important to you, it will make it so much easier for you to maintain your motivation moving forward and avoid self-sabotage. Avoiding self-sabotage is also about identifying what roadblocks or obstacles might be in the way that could prevent you from continuing. And it's also about tracking your progress. If you can track your progress, you'll get clarity. It'll help you identify any new patterns that you might not have realised were related to your hormones. And it will also help you see clearly whether the changes that you've implemented are working. So try and make sure you're tracking your progress. These three steps will really help you stay motivated and avoid self-sabotage. You've got to understand that your success really is 100% dependent on your desire for change. Information on its own isn't the answer. I want you to dig deep and discover your why, identify any roadblocks, and that'll truly help you experience transformation in your health and your life. Yeah, you've got to dig deep, get to the bottom of why this is important to you. Um, let me show, share another story with you. This is um, about my patient, Fran. So um, for about six months before Fran came to see me, she'd noticed that her physical and emotional experience leading up to her period were causing havoc in her life. She was starting to dread the fortnight prior to her period and then as the premenstrual symptoms subsided, she experienced guilt, shame and dismay at how badly she was affected. She was also experiencing ovulation pain, breast pain and tenderness, fluid retention and digestive issues. Emotionally, she felt really low, quick to react with anger, very teary and often overwhelmed by life. She'd lost her natural desire to dance and move her body for fun. Um, and, um, yeah, she'd, she'd really noticed um, a huge change in how she was feeling. When she came to see me, um, we did some testing and I got her to take some herbal medicine and we made some changes in her diet. Um, she told me that she felt a noticeable change after just a week of starting the herbal tonic that I prepared for her. Uh, in terms of the diet and lifestyle, she, uh, the, the strategies we implemented for her were reducing her intake of wheat, uh, non-organic meats, non-organic dairy and also sugar. I also um, got her to start to introduce more greens, some simple vegetable soups and some vegetarian meals. She told me she now sees a huge improvement in her mental health. She's got better mental clarity, a resurgence in energy with improvements in her relationships, particularly with her children, her husband and her mum. She feels more in tune with the divine, allowing a better sense of trust in her purpose. She's more active, more playful. She's moving more, becoming stronger and spending more time healing her body with food, movement and recovery. She's eliminated some things that were not giving her joy in life anymore and she's learning to do less things better. Um, so that was really a huge change for her. You can see how much it impacts your whole quality of life. 
So there's hope. There are things that you can do. I want you to stop hating your hormones. Um, there's a couple of other examples for you. The, um, my lovely patient, Isabel, um, she had hormonal imbalances that she really felt like couldn't be cured. She knew she didn't want to be medicated with Western medicines. Um, but aside from that, she also felt like GPs didn't see how horrible this was for her confidence and well-being. The relief she has felt knowing now that her imbalances will be relieved using natural medicines is indescribable. She's gained her confidence back and she feels better than ever. Um, so this is possible for you too, you know. Um, and also my patient Veronica, her main goal with treatment was to improve her energy levels. Um, that's definitely come a long way. Um, she was able to make dietary changes that she felt was she could maintain for life because of the approach with the hormone breakthrough method. Um, so this is fantastic, you know. And um, the lovely Melissa, she was 44 when I started seeing her. She'd had three seizures um, and she really felt like she was at her wit's end with migraines, mood swings and everything else. She'd tried a few different things and before she came to see me. Um, and uh, what she's really found is that through implementing the hormone breakthrough me method and taking her herbal medicine, she started to feel like a normal human again. Um, so I want you to know you're not alone, okay? Um, there's things that can be done. There's simple natural changes that you can implement uh, that can change your life and really get your body back into balance again. So I don't want you to feel hopeless anymore and I definitely want you to stop hating your hormones. There's a lot that can be done. So what are you going to focus on, struggle or success? I want you to ask yourself the question, where will you be in a year from now? Is anything going to change in your health? We know hormonal imbalances get worse over time, causing a greater toll on well-being and quality of life. But I also know some women just aren't ready to change. And if this is you, it's totally your right to make this choice. But if you are ready to change and you've got that burning desire to bring balance to your mind, your emotions and your physical body, I'd like to extend to you an opportunity to work with me on a deeper level. We've got a special offer for the workshop today. Uh, if you're interested and you'd like to schedule an appointment, you need to schedule an appointment with me today and you'll receive 50% off your consultation fee. The offer expires at the end of this month, so you need to book the appointment today, but you've got any time over the course of the next month to attend. Um, but at the end of this month, the offer will expire. Our standard consultation fee is $157. Uh, so your investment with that 50% uh, discount is $78.50, which saves you $78.50. The offers available for new patients uh, who need to book an initial health appraisal, but I'm also opening this up, offer up to current patients. I know a lot of my current patients are interested in watching the workshop um, so if you haven't been for a while and you feel like it's time to have a tune-up and you'd like to book a review consultation you're also welcome to use this special offer um, I just let you know I work with women from all locations around Australia um, so if you're not going to attend our local office in Rosebud in Victoria then you just need to schedule a phone consultation which is uh, a great option uh, what you need to do is click the pink button below the video to book your appointment online and just remember to be eligible for the offer. You must book today. You must attend your consultation either by phone or in person by the end of this month and you also must write workshop in the notes of your appointment. You might be asking yourself, how am I going to do it? How am I going to do this? I can't afford it. Isn't herbal medicine or whole foods expensive? I just don't have the time to do this. My partner wouldn't agree to, be, to me spending the time and money to look after my health. Now, my children are much more important. There's no way simple changes could work for me. Maybe you're thinking I live too far away. These are all roadblocks that can get in your way. These are all roadblocks that can self-sabotage you or sabotage your steps moving forward from where you're at now to the vision of where you want to go, okay? Remember we were talking about roadblocks before? These are all possible roadblocks that might be coming up for you. But I want you to really think about it. How important are you? How important is it that you return to a state of optimal well-being in your, in your life? How important is it that to you uh, that you can be the best version of yourself possible so that you can continue to 
support the people around you, do the things that you need to do in your work, within your family life, but also actually enjoy life again, get some pleasure back. Life isn't meant to be hard. Life isn't, I don't want you to wake up every day uh, dreading the day ahead. There's more to life. It's so important to get your energy back, your vitality back, your well-being back. You know, you deserve to feel well again. There's actually nothing that's more important. Here's what to do next. Click that pink button below to book your appointment now. As soon as you schedule, you'll receive a confirmation email and also a link to a pre-appointment questionnaire. I'll get you to complete the questionnaire before your appointment and this will give me a head start in looking at how I can help you. Um, when you get that email from my assistant, you'll also receive a copy of my ebook Wellness Without Limits. So make sure you have a read of that book too. Um, that will also help you get an idea uh, of what you can expect during your consultation and um, some other simple steps that you might want to put into place now. Thanks so much for watching the video and I hope you've enjoyed the workshop today and I hope you've found it beneficial. Looking forward to meeting with you soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.